Okay, this is, uh, let me say hello to Cantena number two here. It has uh, an SMA connector and inside is a little piece of wire. In fact, maybe I have to go like that. There's a little piece of wire sticking in there that's a very specific length. And then I have aluminum foil extension here to get it to be the proper length. It gets, uh, gets you the best SWR, which means that the most possible energy goes from the transmitter and out to the thing and instead of reflecting back and hurting the transmitter. Okay, this is the Nano VNA. I'm going to turn this on. And then we've got this handy dandy battery here that I'm going to use to power it. Which is super handy because I can take this anywhere I want and, and uh, use it. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the connector here. Okay. And first thing we want to do is, okay, zoom in on, uh, on this here so you can see the numbers and stuff. See the numbers on the display here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so first thing we want to do is select stimulus. And we're going to go start to point, let's say, three, five gigahertz. Stop. Um, two, uh, two point five five gigahertz. Is that right? Two point three five. I think so. Okay. Now, um, we're going to do a calibration. So I got these handy dandy, uh, this, it came with the kit and this is, um, special thing. So first we'll put the barrel connector as because it's, it's an adapter so you can but it's the same type of thing as on the Cantana. It's the same thread. Okay so this is the uh, adapter. Now I'm going to this is called an open. It's an open circuit. There's no this is an open and this is a short. You can see it in there but there's a little needle in there so this is your open and this is your short so i'm going to put in the open first and i'll look at the screen and okay now we go to back and go to calibrate calibrate open and it so all the stuff um so on the smith chart this is an open circuit this is uh, 50 ohms, and this is short circuit. Now I'll take that out, the open out, and I'm going to put the short on it. And um, and you can see it's the green line here is not quite. Um, you, the green line is, is the main thing you want to focus on on the Smith chart here, but that should be like right here. Um, and it shouldn't have an arc. So now when I hit um, short, okay, now you see that it, it uh, put the, the thing right on exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, the resistance is, you know, milliohms, very small amounts, and it has a very small amount of capacitance and inductance. I think it says like, you know, it's, it's at the level of the noise so it's hard to see, but it's very small inductance or very small capacitance. Now we're back to an open circuit situation. So if you could, you would see the the green green stuff over here at open circuit. Now I have a 50 ohm load. So put that on. And that should be a purely resistive load. But if you look on the Smith chart here, it's this curvy thing. And... Um, so if I click on load, then it'll, so now we're right smack on the 50 ohm thing. And you'll see here that this says uh, 50, you 
okay, uh, 50.049.9. And again, very small inductance or capacitance. That's just noise. When you're up at 2 gigahertz, it, this is, um, so we're getting a pretty amazing performance out of this thing. So now, um, take off the adapter. Now I can finally stick this onto the antenna. Let's try to hit uh, done. Okay, now I can connect the antenna to the VNA. is going on here okay all right so now the antenna is connected to the VNA and now if we look at the screen here you'll see so okay so zoom in on the screen here that's not the screen oh 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 that's right because the camera's way over here okay All right, so right now the cursor is at uh, 2.447. Looks like 2.447. That's real close to the center of the Wi-Fi band, which goes from 2.40 to 2.48 gigahertz. And right there you can see our SWR, is, um, which is this number here. The SWR here is a yellow trace. And you can see it's very, um, it's pretty flat along the whole length of going from 2. 3, 5 to 2.55, I think. I can't see that, um, even with my glasses on. But right now, you'll see SWR here. The lowest it can possibly be is 1.00, and we got 1.16, more or less. And then if we go to... Okay, I'm moving it over to... Looks like 2.40. So this is the lower end of the band. I'm getting glare. Okay, get over here. Okay. Um, the... So this is at the lower end of the band. I think it's like 2.40 gigahertz. And still we are got 1.27, it looks like, for 1.27 for, uh, for the SWR. And that's, you know, it's not perfect, but it's still plenty good enough. Then we'll go up to the upper end. It should be 2.48. 2.48. And here SWR is 1.2 six it looks like um which is plenty good so this is um um okay and then uh, uh back off so i'm going to show the uh the whole antenna here so now if you see if you can get the screen on there yeah um so now if i take my hand and i put it in front of the you can see the swr goes nuts as I bring my hand in front of the antenna, so there's, it means that, you know, the electrical characteristics of the antenna is not correct anymore. And some of the energy that's being transmitted, radio energy is being reflected back into the system. And that's why you get this really crappy SWR. Because SWR is a measure of reflected energy that gets reflected back into the transmitter from the antenna. So that's it. Um, so this is a, a you know good quality uh, Wi-Fi antenna. And then the question is, is uh, how much gain and how directional it is. Uh, so maybe we can uh, get a signal from the cistern into the house, and that's it.